mailbag, which will start in just a couple minutes. And uh, in just one minute, actually. So I guess there's nothing else I need to do before I settle down here. Might as well have a seat and get started. Why not? Uh, you see, I hung up all the little kitties that we were sent from the Coronation School students above the fireplace because I think they're super cute. And I, uh, I, don't, I don't think actually that I've shown them to DJ yet. We've been so distracted with everything, so uh, I'll make sure that she sees these. Uh, that she comes in here and takes a look at them specifically because they're just so wonderful. Thank you guys again. Uh, on that same note, I am uploading past mailbags. Four of them should have uploaded yesterday, although I don't think they've been published yet. That's a second step for me to do. Uh, when I get to my computer, which I haven't done, uh, I, haven't, I haven't been to my computer all morning, so something I'll have to do. Oh, let me close that window so we get just a little bit more light on the, the camera here. Also, uh, it does feel a little dim in here for some reason, or maybe it's just me. <laughs> All right, let's see if that makes any improvement in the way I look there. Well, I mean, there's not much that can be done for the way I look, but maybe the lighting will be a little better. Okay. Oh, so as you know, we might as well do this right now. Oh, let me double check the cameras first, though. Uh, today is an adoption day. We are going to have some adoptions, some kittens going, uh, graduating today. Let me check. Uh, Mayhem is one of them. Yeah. Oh, no, that's pretty good, actually. That looks just fine to me. So let's do our goodbye waves. Let's have Mayhem say goodbye. Mayhem, did you know you're getting adopted today? She has no idea. She's just a troublemaker. Uh, she's been my little best friend uh, for the last couple of weeks. She just follows me around the house and hangs out as much as possible, having a real good time. Uh, and then her sister that she's getting adopted with, uh, bam, oh, right here, good, convenient, within arm's reach. Oh. Bamboozle is also getting adopted today. They're going together. They will be living together. There we go. Bye-bye. There we go. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm going to miss you too. Bam's been super sweet, actually. She is a big purr. Uh, you know, I said she's super independent, and she is super independent, but she just loves to have her attention too, and she purrs so much. Are you going to do it now? No, she wants to go play. All right, well, um, so those adoptions are happening today. We're expecting around noon. It's a long drive. So, you know, again, the timing is never real specific, but it does have implications for mailbag. Uh, you know, we try to limit these to about an hour now, which means we want to be done by 11. And that's going to be a real hard cutoff uh, for me today. So uh, there's not too much mail. If we keep it moving, we might be able to get through all of this uh, by 11 and not have anything to do tomorrow. Uh, the trick being, like I said, I've really got to cut it off at 11 because I haven't picked up the paperwork or, or arranged anything for these kittens yet. Now, uh, fortunately, you know, I did organize the basement and the endowments are almost entirely sorted, except for the stuff that came in last weekend, which is just sitting right there waiting for me to dole it out. Um, so it won't take me too long to get caught up on those things, uh, but I really am putting them off to the last minute today. So uh, I'll have to get the papers and the endowments and uh, all that stuff, their graduation certificates. Um, all put together uh, after mailbags. So I've got to make sure that we stop on time. That way we don't risk uh, the, um, the adopter showing up before all that stuff is ready. And I'm just going to take a real quick look here. Good. Oh, okay. So I actually just got an update uh, from the adopter that's ka bless who you all know so i guess i don't have to just say the adopter like i usually do and when i say you all know i mean people on discord know and people that have watched mailbags know uh, because K, K bless is sending quite a bit of stuff um so um yeah i just got a note from them saying that they are already halfway here and uh that they will be probably a little after noon so that is perfect so uh, looking forward to that. I mean, you know, looking forward to, but also I'm really going to miss those kids. So let's uh, let's see. I got some letters, oh, which are all the way over here uh, in this pile. I didn't bring too over in front of the camera. Okay. But let's start with those like we always do. Let's get a letter opener. Maybe. Oh, I need to empty this box. There's all these donations and stuff in this box. And... I put them in here so that they uh, stay in one spot, but I got to put that on my long, long to-do list. Do that right, Kahui. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to be so excited to be adopted, too. 
You are such a big old softy. Oh, yes, you are. All right. Well, let's start here. I see UK. So there we go. Oh, and I see a cat is actually uh, appears to be ordering off of a menu, but wearing a hat from a Christmas cracker, one of those Christmas cracker crowns. Uh, and uh, he's saying, I'll have four calling birds. He's ordering off a menu and he's saying, I'll have four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves. It would be possible to have a partridge without a pear tree. And he's got a real cute smirk on his face. It's a, it's a wonderful little card photo. Uh, that's so cute. And inside it says, Merry Christmas to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. Uh, wishing you a, oh, uh, where do I start here? I guess I start over here. Well, it's been great to watch another fun-filled year at KA, thankfully without storm-induced power outages or lockdowns to contend with. I was honestly thrilled that both of you were able to spend quality time with your families this year. Uh, Skype and FaceTime, etc., are wonderful innovations, but nothing beats being able to have a good hug. I remain in awe of what you do, giving the best possible care and unconditional love to all the lucky mum cats and kittens that scamper and snooze around your home. You are an inspiration to us all and make the world a better place for the kitties and for all of us that you, uh, that you unselfishly allow to share in what you do. Sorry if my sentiments are a bit gushy. Hopefully the silliness of the card will make up uh, compensate for it. Sorry. Uh, okay, now it says, wishing you a wonderful Christmas and that 2023 is filled with oodles of love, good health, laughter, and super healthy mom cats with kittens that have very fat milk bellies. Lots of love from Heather, Jasmine, Poppy, and Mushu, a.k.a. Powell, and the Ussie Cats. The kitty in the photo reminds me of a combination of Moo Moo for the mouth and Truffle and Oshi for the appetite. Yes, I guess I can see that. That is a kind of a, a Moo Moo mouth there. That's cute. Uh, all right. Thank you so much for that card. That's super sweet. And I just, I do love the, uh, the illustration there. That cat's adorable. So let's see. Uh, this one says, Merry Christmas. And, oh, it's a Disney one. We've got Mickey Mouse here. Don't sue us, Disney. Uh, he's carrying some presents uh, from a Christmas tree. And inside it says, have a holly, have a jolly, joyful, and oh so merry Christmas. Mr. A and DJ, keep up the wonderful work you do with all the mom cats and kittens. Can't forget the faculty. Please stay safe and warm from Sweetness and Tabby on Discord. That's Sweetness and Tabby on Discord. Have a wonderful Christmas and a very happy new year. Aw, love Karen and Tabby. That's so sweet. Uh, sweetness and Tabby. These two are playing with this camera right now. I don't know why. They must have maybe pushed a toy under it or something. But uh, hopefully they aren't being too disruptive. And don't knock it over. They look like they're about to flip it over. Could happen at any moment. We'll keep an eye out for that. Okay. Uh, oh, and this is from Lady K. It says right on the front. And I think it is a donation to an animal shelter. Oh, such a cute little kitty looking at falling snow. And it says, hope your holidays are perfect. Uh, wishing you the gifts of, the, gifts of the season. Peace, joy, hope. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Lady K made a contribution to Morris Animal Foundation in your honor this holiday season. Thank you so much, Lady K. We always appreciate people who donate to their local animal shelters and charities. And, uh, and we do appreciate when you do it in our name because that's fun for us too. So... Thanks for including us in, in your generosity. That's, that's very nice of you. Uh, okay, so that already concludes the letters portion of today's mailbag. And let's jump right into the boxes portion of today's mailbag. Uh, we'll start right here with a drop shipment that has no clue on the outside. Hopefully we've got some notes in here. Oh, uh, we've got some, some classics and some not so classics here. Uh, this looks like... Um, Hmm. Oh, these are some balls with rattles that have, they're soft, and these are like balls made of little pom-pom balls in various colors, and then one's made of yarn with some strings hanging out. How cool is that? Uh, this, the, the, the little pom-pom ones remind me of like a model of a, of a nucleus of an atom, don't they? Uh, that's very cute. Of course, you'd only need three, uh, two colors in there, I guess. Sorry, I said three, but no, two in the nucleus, probably. But still, uh, very cute. Okay. 
Uh, toys for the tiny tubs to be deployed now or held for endowments in memory of my kitty Tina. Thanks for all you do from Smiling Max. Aw, Smiling Max. Uh, okay, toys for the tiny tubs now or held for endowments. Okay, that's so sweet. Smiling Max, thank you so much. You also sent these little fur mice that have uh, little rattles in them as well. Super cute. We've got black, gray, and white. And then we have a tiny tub of Mylar balls and Charlie balls. Whoa, a combo. And springs. It's everything. How cool is that? Uh, I didn't know that they sold any sets that were like this, but that's a great set because it's, it's the top is, I don't know if you can really see, the top is packed with springs, and then all the middle is these big Mylar balls, and then on the bottom we have Charlie balls. That is a perfect toy set for a kitty. Uh, a very spoiled kitty. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. All right. Thank you for that. I love all of them, and the tiny tubs will also love all of them. We'll put them back in your box for now. This will be the tiny tubs box as we are going. Let's see what's next. Smiling backs. Thank you. All right. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. Interesting. Is this a, a thing on Amazon all of a sudden? No? Okay. The, uh, these are actually, it's different. We've got three of uh, the big long-tailed springs that have been very popular and then three more of what look like the identical um, uh, yarn balls with the tails on them and this says uh, six pack three each balls and springs use as you see fit from lisa for kittens awesome thank you lisa for kittens well these will be great toys for those tubs the tubs are going to need a lot of toys here we go. Oh, and if we're looking for uh, news about the kids upstairs, um, there's, there's, oh man, they're doing so well. Um, they all ate a little bit of food this morning for breakfast. They're not quite four weeks old, so they're way ahead of the curve on that. Of course, they weigh as much as kittens that are five or six weeks easy. Um, so they're very big and growing super fast. Their mom's just uh, doing a great job for them. And um, I was going to say something about it. Oh, they all ate a little bit, but Beryl ate a lot bit. And last night I went in there to hang out with them, and I brought them all up on the beanbag chair with me, and then they wanted to get off and run around a little bit, and they each did. Uh, but Beryl and Silo each climbed back up onto the beanbag chair while I was there to sit in my lap again by choice on the beanbag chair, which is, again, super advanced. Uh, most kittens don't, don't do that until they're much older. Uh, and have a lot more experience sitting with me on the beanbag chair. I also feel like the fact that they moved out of their box and now they're sitting on the uh, the pillows out in the room more often uh, might be because that's where they see me sitting. And that's so cute if it's true. All right. Uh, moving right along, Lisa, for kittens, thank you again. This is, let's see, one-inch pom-pom balls, 100 count for the tinies so that they have a softer toy than the Charlie balls and the Mylars for K-8 deployment. The tubs might already be too big by the time these arrive from Lisa for Kittens. Well, thank you, Lisa for Kittens. I don't think that they are uh, too, the, I don't think the tubs are too big because they've hardly started to play with toys. Uh, just barely. They, they spend so much time wrestling with each other that I'm, I'm sure they're capable of it mostly, but it's easy to forget just how young they really are. They still have a lot of trouble tracking toys and therefore haven't really started playing with them yet. And these are, uh, these are softer. They've got a couple of felted balls in their box already. They're just about this size. But these are much softer than the felted balls. These are very squishy, um, soft little things that I think they might like quite a bit. Little pom-pom balls. So those are perfect for them right now. And if not, I'm sure we will get use of those over time. So thank you for that. All right, next up, I'm sure we can all guess who this is from because uh, we've got this, this art on it that uh, we recognize as being a box from Lisa G for uh, Beans and Cheeto, former graduates of Kitten Academy, their new names. And we have The Note, ooh, right on top, perfect, spelled out, The Note, perfect, perfect. Oh, I see, it's the usual. We even know what's in it then, don't we? Uh, oh, wow, here we got a cat laying on a sofa with listening to headphones, uh, and he's got a yarn tangled up around his feet. He looks very relaxed. That's, uh, that's very cute. Kind of reminds me of somebody. I can't quite put my finger on it, though. Happy 
Academy. I thought this card was a great image of what life would be like for Sweet Thimble when she retires from motherhood. Oh, it really does look like Sweet Thimble. Enclosed, you'll find endowments for the Tiny Tubs plus a miniature for DJ and something to help supplement your joke repertoire. It does need a lot of help. Uh, as always, thank you so much for all you do for the kitties. I look forward to watching the classes of 2023 arrive, grow, and find their forever homes from Lisa G., Cheeto, and Fiends. Aw, oh, thank you. So, as usual, you have sent laser pointers for the new class, and they each have the picture, yes, of, uh, of the little cat that, or kitten that they're for. So this one is for Thimble. This one is for Silo. This one is for Cistern. And this one is for Barrel. And I think that's got to be so cute because you always use the, the kitten pictures from when they're very tiny. And then uh, by the time they get adopted, they're a little bit bigger. And I'm sure it's fun for their adopters to discover those pictures on the, the laser pointers later on. Very cute. So you also included, let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We say something for my jokes and something for DJ. And I can see one of these is 100 Possum Cat Jokes. Oh, wow. Well, it's sealed shut. I guess I could open it. But, oh, there's a, is it one a sample joke right on the back. How to Cat Shop. They use catalogs. Of course they do. Oh, well, those are fun. Those are going to be super fun. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, and then you said a little tiny blown glass. Uh, let's see. What is it? Is it a kitty? It is. It's a very fat, stripy kitty. Uh, with a fat little tail, and uh, he's got little tiny stripes, and he's just this big. Look how tiny that is. It's smaller than my fingertip, but he's very detailed. He's got eyes and a nose and two big cheeks and his little ears and uh, little yellow stripes and feet and his tail. Uh, super cute little tiny glass uh, cat. DJ's going to really appreciate that. Okay. For now, I will put that right here next to, well, I can't just set it next to my jokes, so I'll have to put it in my pocket, because if I put it next to the jokes, the kids will go for those strings. We don't want that. Speaking of pockets, I'm going to put this rubber band in my pocket as well, for the same reason. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Lisa, uh, Lisa G. and Cheeto and Beans. All right. Let's see here now. This just says Kitten Academy on it, so let's find out what's inside. Toys for the container class to be deployed now or held for endowments in memory of my kitty Tina. Thanks for all you do from Smiling Backs. All right, Smiling Backs. Let's see what else we've got here then. You might have to switch everything to this box too because that's starting to get over full. So here we go. <clears throat> oh, uh, okay. So we've got this fuzzy tunnel that has stars on it. I recognize this. This has been, we've got, I think, one of these. Uh, downstairs in my space theme box where I've got everything for putting out another space theme. Uh, so it's nice. We'll either have two or we have one to endow to a kitten that loves that. Um, that's another fun idea. I really like it. And then this is a pop-up pod, and pods are always useful. We go through quite a few of them. The one behind me is getting starting to get kind of worn out, and it looks like it's this lovely teal uh, and brown color. So that is also a perfect thing for us to have around. Uh, now, I guess I wonder, though, if I should include all the in, in endowments. I guess for now I can, and we can always decide. Well, I should put it in general use, though, because that way we know we don't have to. All right, we'll get this sorted out. We're just going to flip these two boxes. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's keep rolling. Smiling back, thank you again. All right, we've got another drop shipment here. It also just says Kitten Academy on the outside, so hopefully a note. There is a note. The note says, oh, also from Smiling Backs. Thank you. The same message. Choice for the tiny tubs to be deployed now or held for endowments. All right. Ooh, what are these? They, oh, these are those uh, the bouncy silly springs, they're called. Uh, we've got one of these that's been shooting around the, uh, the Academy somewhere. Might even be in this room somewhere. I keep seeing it. Uh, that might be it right there by the door. In fact, it is right by the Zen cat back there at the door. I guess you can't see it, but I can. Uh, anyway, it is a fun tube attached to a fuzzy ball with a feather on the end. Now, this particular feather has a loop. I wonder if they all do. You could attach it to even a, a, a wand that way. 
Anyhow, if you just push this side down on the floor, then it pops up and goes flying, but it's still just fun all by itself, even without that. So you sent a set of those. This really looks like a Jim, Hen Jim Henson uh, Muppet to me, doesn't it? To you, like this would be its beak or its big long mouth and its head, and then it's got this hair in the back. I, that's what I think of every time I see it. It's very Muppety. Uh, anyway, it makes a great toy, and I'm sure the kids are gonna love it. Smiley Bex, thank you so much for that. Okay, uh, let me put this stuff in this. Yeah, I was going to try to fit it in this bag, but it's not just going to go right in. Ah, all right. After, after. Uh, let me get some of these boxes over here so I can reach them. I didn't realize how much these kids missed their little ball track. Uh, fortunately, they all have, I think they all have one of these ball tracks in their endowments. Um, but uh, it's been in the wash. Ours has been in the wash here for a while. And I finally put it back out just uh, yesterday or the day before. And since then, they've been having so much fun with it. So it's good to know they're each going home with one. And that's a reminder to me that I, I should keep it out here, I guess. Or maybe it's just fun because it's new right now. You know, it's new again. Look at that. I missed a letter. And I didn't see it on top of the box there. And it's got this really cool, uh, the light uh, white ink on this dark envelope. And a gingerbread man for a seal on the back. Let's open this up. Take a step back to the letters section. Wow, that's a cool stamp too. Oh, from Singapore. Wow. It says, uh, Vanishing Trade is Chinese calligrapher. I see. So it's commemorating things that people don't do very much anymore. And that's a, it is. The stamp is a little picture of a guy doing calligraphy. Uh, inside we have a card that has two bears making a gingerbread house. It says, my Christmas cookies, winter holiday. That's so cute. Merry Christmas. And then there's also a snow globe inside. And the snow globe says, say, Seoul, Seoul. How do I, I can't pronounce the name of that town correctly. I'm just not even going to try. Uh, and then inside... It says, Merry Christmas, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty and students, and of course, mom cats and pregnots. Um, wish you all and everyone in the extended KA family the warmest of holiday cheer. Lots of love all the way from Seoul, South Korea. That is amazing. Uh, but I can't quite make out your name. Is it Nell? I think it's Nell, N-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, uh, who is... D-E-X-X, -X, I see. I recognize D-3-X-X, -X, D-3-X-X on Discord. I recognize that for sure, and I did not know that's where you were from, but I love that everything about this card is so cute. And we've got a little kitten in a bun on the back, or maybe he's a bear. Uh, is it a bear? Uh, no, he's got whiskers. I'm going to call that a kitten. So cute. I think the one on this side is a kitten, and this one's more like a gingerbread man or a, a bear or something. Uh, very, very cute. Hmm. Thank you so much for that. That's a nice card too. My goodness, and I just I love the way that this this uh, envelope looks with the what, the dark and then the, the light letters. It's the reverse. It's the dark mode. That that's it. Dark mode. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you for that. Sorry, I almost missed it in there. You were probably wondering if it would ever arrive. Okay, uh, let's see here. This now we also recognize because of the stickers on it. Very distinctive. We know this is from the B and B sisters. Let's see what's inside. Oh my goodness. Wow, as usual, packed full of stuff for kittens and cats. Uh, now there's gotta be a note in here somewhere and we will just keep digging until we find it. But in the meantime, let's describe what we're digging through. We have a bag of very shiny little Charlie balls here. We have some Eek mice that look very excited to be playing with a cat. We have this Hum Singer, the electronic noise hummingbird with the feathers on it. Oh, we got a couple of those and another one of the happy mice. There we go. Uh, we have a Potty Time cat toy set. Potty Time, I see what you did there. Uh, we have a catnip seltzer and a Purr's Light. <laughs> These are uh, parodies of uh, a beer and a seltzer. That's cute. Very cute. Uh, oh, and we have another Hum Singer. Wow, that's a good set of those things. Uh, we have Welcome Baby Cat Toys. i got to see what that means. Uh, this is the Chihuahua, and, you know, they sell these in these little boxes like you might see on a store counter. Uh, but why is it Welcome Baby? 
Oh, well, I'll tell you what, these are the very same toys that we have for them upstairs right now. They've got one of these. You might have seen I took a picture of their mom with it on their head. Little rainbow mice. They have a rattle. They have a feather tail. Those are great little cat toys. Uh, kitten toys, I suppose. They're very tiny, too. Uh, although I can see any cat or kitten playing with those and enjoying it. Uh, well, we still haven't found our note, but I know it's got to be in here somewhere. We have a breakfast set of a, a cat, uh, Meow Mocha, actually. It says Meow Mocha right on it, embroidered, and a croissant. There we go. We have some blankets, as always. Oh, there's the note. I found it. Hang on. Let's start with the note, and then we can check the blanket. So... This is, a, <laughs> this is a scene of cats wrecking a room, uh, and it's, there's knitting uh, needles and yarn everywhere, and cats, little tiny kittens, everywhere. Uh, one of them is looking at the lamp like he wants to knock it over. One is climbing the arm of the sofa. One is going for the fish tank on the counter. Uh, they're wrestling. They're tangled up in yarn. One of them is climbing the curtains in the background. It's chaos. It feels uh, all too familiar. And then the note inside says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens at Kitten Academy, Happy New Year! Thimble's babies are so cute, we can't decide who is the cutest. Enclosed are the usual toys and blankets to be used as you see fit, along with two cases of food. One of the blankets is Thimble-inspired. Thank you again for all you do, the B&B sisters Beatrice and Bernadette. Well, thank you so much, B&B sisters. I hope you guys can see that Art, okay, it is adorable. That art's very cute. And yes, uh, the usual. So let's see. Whoa, we have this uh, crazy space cat. Uh, whoop, let's see. Wow, that I love the the faded colors. But then we've also got all these kitties uh, um, super uh, superimposed. Uh, what am I looking for? Double exposed, superimposed. Uh, wow. Uh, I guess those go together. Anyway, on a background of like nebula, but kitten faces all around. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like it. And there's another blanket here that is the thimble inspired one. These colors, by the way, are great. Uh, these sort of spacey uh, galaxy colors. Uh, I'm a big fan. Okay. Uh, the other one is, I see, it looks like sewing kit to me. Indeed it is. We got a sewing machine. We got a pin cushion. We got little bobbins. We've got thimbles even, actual thimbles on it. Thank goodness. Scissors. We got an outline of a pattern to cut out, I think, or maybe that's a dotted sewing machine. It's a dotted sewing machine. All right, I got it. Uh, scissors, needles, yarn, thread. Oh, we got a seam ripper right there. Uh, hot glue gun. All right. I don't know if I want to put that in the sewing kit necessarily, but I guess anything goes these days. Oh, uh, one of those quilting knives that's got the round wheel on it. Very sought after by quilters. Very nice. Uh, somebody doing a little bit of needle point there. Wow, that is. there's a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, I see a, a, a cloth measuring tape. Wow. Very cool. That is a super thimble inspired. This is going to have to be put out with all of her stuff. I mean, for certain. That's so perfect for her. I love it. Thank you so much for that. There we go. Okay, just a couple more things in here. Uh, as you mentioned, the fancy feast, uh, I guess I'll pull that out and put everything else back. That's probably the best way to organize this. So two cases of the fancy feast, classic chicken pate. Perfect. Easy for me. Okay, there we go. Uh, then inside we got another, I see it's another hum singer, another excited mouse, and a bag full of little um, little mice with feather tails. Oh, little rattle mice with feather tails. These kids are probably not going to use right now. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I hope the ceiling camera's on because they all ran for that the minute I threw it. Okay. Uh, B&B sisters, thank you so much. I love all of it. This blanket is especially great, though. I've got to make sure that gets deployed uh, ASAP. In fact, I was just up there uh, thinking about how we've still got the Christmas blankets in her room. And I've been slowly collecting all the Christmas stuff and moving it to the sunroom so that I can just in one fell swoop kind of come through with some boxes and get it all packed away for next year. So I was looking at her blankets that are still Christmas blankets and thinking, all right, I need to pick something else that can go in this room. And uh, that's that's about as perfect as you could get. So thank you so much for that. All right. Uh, let's upgrade the endowments box, I guess. What do you do here? 
the tempest is all for endowments, but I know there's some stuff in here I might want to dig out ahead of time, as I do once in a while. Of course, especially when, when they move rooms, you know, I usually go through everything and find, you know, what's been sent that, that we should deploy for them right away. So that will be coming in due time, I suppose. All right, we're not done yet. There's a couple more boxes stacked over here for me to grab. Hang on now. Thank you so much, B&B sisters. That is some great stuff. And these kittens are going to love it. All right. <laughs> that card, the art on that card is fantastic. Some great cards and letters today. You guys know that that's one of my favorite things. Uh, the cards and letters, and not just from the art. It's mostly because of the sentiments. But I also, honestly, I think I've said another reason I like the cards so much is that, uh, you know, I don't feel like you guys went out of your way to... to I don't feel like you spent too much on us, which is always an issue. Of course, you can never spend too much on the kittens, and I'll never complain about that. Uh, but but sometimes I feel like you guys go a little too far for me. Uh, not that I don't appreciate it. I think you're wonderful, and I know. Um, you know I love you guys too. So, all right. Uh, let's see. This says whichever is a Kahooligan slash coot still at K A. Uh, the rest for Thimble's tiny tubes from. Uh, well, I, uh, I think, uh, well, it says from Lynn. I'm just, I'll, I'll read from Lynn. All right, Lynn, thank you so much. That is, I don't know why I hesitated on that. It's from Lynn. Okay, so these look like the long-tailed mice, and I'll tell you, uh, we usually have some long tail. oh, there's one right here. I don't have to pull it out. And we usually have some long-tailed mice around for every class. They are sort of a classic toy at this point. This one has a bell in the end. Do they all do that? Maybe that's a recent addition. They've always had cranklies. Uh, anyway, the uh, the long-tailed mice, uh, they've always been around. A lot of the classes, uh, some of them go for them, really, and some of them don't. And it's it's real hit or miss, I guess, as far as the toy goes. But this class loves them. Uh, I've seen Hoodwink, I think it is, or maybe Bam, or maybe both, uh, carrying these things all over the house. There's two of them uh, out. There we go. And they're both right here in the middle of this floor and out because they get played with so often. So big hit for these kids. And I don't know whether they already have some of their endowments. So now I'll use this to make sure that they do. And just to, to make double sure of that, I won't uh, put those in the endowment box for the tubs yet. All right. So uh, thank you so much for that. These guys, like I said, uh, sometimes those can be hit. Sometimes they can be a miss. This time for these kids, big hit. So uh, thank you so much for that. Lynn. All right. Uh, here we go. This has, as far as I can see, nothing on the outside. No return address whatsoever. Somebody was like, nah, it's going to get to him. Don't worry about it. So let's see if there's a note on the inside. There's a night guard, so it's clearly someone who knows what's up. Oh, there's the note. Good. Okay, good. And I see what look like individual little packages. Oh, it's a sealed. I recognize the seal. It's the little cat uh, sitting in the, the astrological window, I guess. There's like a window that, or, or frame that it's sitting in. Moon and stars and the little moon signs all around. It's beautiful. And I recognize it, but I can't remember who it is that has this particular seal. Uh, it's interesting. That's that's like, you know, you, like you would have a family seal, like the, the crest ring, you know, that you'd use to, to stamp your letters and seal them. And uh, now that's what this is, really. I just don't remember which family it is. <laughs> so the card inside is uh, Peanuts or Snoopy, and it's Snoopy helping Woodstock. Uh, I think he's putting Woodstock on top of a Christmas tree as though he were the Christmas tree topper. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, I think I've mentioned this before, too. You know, the, the uh, Peanuts, the, the Snoopy thing has that, they're like the saddest Christmas tree that they all decorate. Uh, and when I was in India for Christmas a few years back, um, DJ and I went there right around Christmas time together. And I got to see all the Christmas trees in India are like the saddest Christmas tree. That's how they look. That it's, it's like, I don't know if it's the only kind of sort of fir pine tree that grows out there. And I saw whole forests of them that were just sort of like scraggly like this. It's the, it's the particular type of pine tree that they grow out there. Uh, so even the big ones that, you know, were much larger than little Snoopy's tree here also looked like this with just, a, you know, little branches sticking out little tufts of needles on it instead of being like full and bushy like we get out here. Uh, and it's cute. It's really cute. So they're, they're 
that's just what a Christmas tree is uh, for, I guess, most of that part of it. I should say, when I say India, India is a big place, uh, but DJ is uh, from the southern part there. And uh, that's sort of what you get there. So, all right. Wishing you a Christmas that's very merry, always bright, and filled with reasons to smile. Happy holidays to Kitten Academy. All right, greetings, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. Merry belated Christmas and happiest of New Year's. So glad to see KA going strong, and I look forward to another great year full of mom, cats, kittens, and maybe even some cute pregnots. Enclosed, I've made some toy pumpkins and kitties for Kahooty and her Kahooligans. There are also tiny socks for uh, mammoths, uh, moments, mammoths, uh, tiny socks. Uh, oh, socks ornaments. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm reading or is a separate word. I am so dumb. All right. Uh, there are also tiny socks ornaments for each adopter. I know Hogwash and his adopter will receive theirs in due time. Yes, indeed. Thank you for recognizing that, though. That's cute. Love watching you interact with Thimble and her tiny tubs. She is a real spitfire, but you will work your magic on her before too long. As always, thank you for all you and Dr. DJ do for the, these wonderful mom cats and kittens. Not to mention the silly faculty kittens. You have established such an amazing and friendly community that I am so proud to be a part of. Happy holidays from Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. Thank you, Chrissy Cat. I'm getting a phone call that I'm almost positive is my dentist just calling to ask how I'm doing after yesterday's uh, drilling and filling. Uh, I will return that call later to tell them I'm doing great. No complaints. Uh, okay. So, uh, yes, uh, thank you so much, Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. Let's take a look at these. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying or Namants. Yes, they are or Namants. <laughs> why? Brain why? Okay. So, uh, these are so cute. This is to Kahootie's adopter. And let's just take this one as an example. I think they're all kind of similar. This one has a very stripy kitty. You can see the tail in front, the little eyes, and the kitty ears. Very cute. We have an ornament that looks like a sock. Uh, oh, and there's, you could even put something into it, like so it's a miniature stocking. And a little Halloween-y reminder of the, uh, the pumpkin. They were definitely all here for Halloween, so that's also suitable. There was there's probably a fair amount of Halloween stuff in each of their uh, endowments at this point, I think. Uh, and I put extra Christmas stuff into Hogwash's uh, endowments because I knew he would be going home and it would still kind of be Christmas, right? So lots of Christmas stuff, I think, in all of them, though, or at least some. So Chrissy Cat 24 this is to Flim Flam. Flim Flam is a similar set, but a redder, like a fire engine red sock uh, or mammoth, and uh, this white, little white uh, kitty with a green and red Christmassy tail, uh, and another pumpkin, of course. Uh, we got another one here that is for Bamboozle with a green cat, and... Uh, Hogwash gets a, gets a cat to match his mom with a little uh, green and white and red stripey. Here we have one that looks like a flag to me. Hoodwinks, uh, green and white and red, but more of a block stripe there. And then finally, uh, Mayhem, uh, Mayhem's adopter gets an orange, uh, sort of a, it's a, you, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, it's very orangey. They're not quite as orangey as this, but not quite as red as the sock, kind of right in between there somewhere. Super cute. Thank you so much for that. You know, these the adopters are going to appreciate this so much and the, the personal touch and uh, it's just wonderful. And we got to these just in time. Thank goodness I decided to try to, to sort of hurry through this mailbag, although I'm sorry uh, that I don't get to spend as much time rambling as I might otherwise. And assuming that there's no major gotchas here in this, what's kind of the last box, um, we will be ahead of schedule, which will be nice because then maybe I get this stuff put away and still have the full hour to get the paperwork and endowments, everything put together. So let's see. <clears throat> uh, this is from, well, there's not a name that we know on the outside, but it is from overseas. And I thought I saw the word Frankfurt somewhere, um, but now I'm not seeing it. So whatever. And it's got these cute felt, it's fuzzy stickers. Oh, there's none on the side. It's pointing at you. Uh, there's a little cherub on the top, and we got a snowman and this star. Uh, all super cute stuff. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this open. Well, we already did that side. All right. 
Okay, keep cutting. I think we got it now. Oh, yes, we do. All right, there we go. Oh, on the note, right on top, Merry Christmas to you with a bunch of uh, really cool little block uh, print kitties wearing Christmassy things and playing with stars and ornaments. And it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty, I wish all of you Merry Xmas. I'd like all the people on Discord to know that they are the best community and are as important to the KA faculty as important as the KA fac faculty and, of course, you and DJ. There we go. Easy for me to say. Uh, sentiment I could not agree with more. I'd say more important, really. Um, you know, I, it's just one of me here taking care of the kitties and then all of you also taking care of the kitties. Uh, and each other, and it's, it's wonderful. So you also say, I think like-minded people find each other's, and this community is full of kind, lovable, creative, and wonderful people, all because of a wonderful place called KA. Please enjoy the treats, some for the faculty, some for the human butlers. Love, sweet cherry flavor. Sweet cherry flavor from Discord, thank you so much, wow. All right, let's see. Uh, we got a little bit of packing material here for the kittens, of course. And inside, oh my goodness. All right, some of this I recognize. Uh, I won't, I can't pronounce uh, Katsungen, Kats, Katsungen. Uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's chocolate. It's chocolate with a little bit of a kitten theme. Uh, and uh, this, uh, we were sent this years ago. It's been a long time, I think, since I've had one, but they're delicious little chocolates. Thank you so much for that. We have, wow, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff in here that is, uh, let's see. Well, this is multi-fit natural, uh, and it looks like little strips of bacon, except unlike the cat it bacon that we have, these are fat. This is the thick cut bacon, uh, almost like a sandwich, really. Uh, those, those I bet they're going to love. Here we have a, oh boy, <clears throat> my German is uh, not, so Nussbrunnflocken. Uh, all right, that's what we're going to go with. Classic. And uh, I just have to go by the pictures because I can't read this description. Uh, it looks like little chocolate stars with something crispy in it. Uh, hard to say what that crispy thing might be from the photo, though. So I guess I will be taken by surprise. Oh, wait, there's a translation on the back. Milk chocolate with multi-grain crisp bread. Well, I still don't know exactly what that means, but I bet it's delicious. So that's clearly for me. Uh, oh, this is so cute. We have a postcard that includes a little kitty wearing a mask and a bunch of little kitty statues all around, too. That's super adorable. Uh, and I see, a, what do you call the, the, the Japanese, uh, the red gates? There's a model of one here with a bunch of little tiny kittens uh, sitting in front of it. Uh, so sweet. All right. There we go. A little postcard. Here we have stickers for me to add to my collection that are a bunch of cats and tunas. I think they're tunas. I guess there could be sharks, actually. You know, I take it back. They look they, Now they look like sharks. Cats and sharks. Um, very cute, though. Cute little kitties, cute little sharks playing together. I think they're playing together. There we go. That'll go great in my collection of stickers someday to be applied. Uh, here we have some cat food cans. All the moments to enjoy are the brand. And we have chicken, we have chicken and duck. Uh, looks very fancy. <clears throat> we have, this must be salmon, just based on the pink color. Chicken with salmon and spinach. Whoa, very fancy. Tuna and chicken with ham. Wow, these are feasts. All right. <clears throat> uh, chicken with egg. Chicken with salmon. All right, I think they're all going to be repeats now, maybe. Uh, oh, tuna with trout, chicken with egg. Uh, not all repeats. Tuna with sardines. Ugh, that sounds disgusting to me, but I bet the cats will love it. Multi-fit newspies, uh, with milk and cheese. I oh, chicken and cheese. Got it. Okay, I tried. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. My goodness. I think my throat's probably a little bit, uh, you know, from all the, the dental work done. Okay. Okay, let's see, there's a baggie here, and the baggie contains what appears to be, I'm guessing uh, from the context, little Japanese treats of various kinds. I don't know. This looks like a kitty who's scooting on the floor, and I can't read that at all. I have no idea what could be in this. What is it, food? Is it uh, like 
you know, it's kind of softish, like a napkin, a toy. There could be anything in here. For all I know, there could be a skid mark from a kitty scooting on the floor. Uh, we'll find out. That's all the fun of it is uh, finding out. Here we have, it says Mountain Sable. <laughs> the, the translated part says, uh, how about stopping for a moment to feel the wind? You will find the awesome nature there. All right, well, it says uh, sweet sable, mountain sable, and again, I think it's some kind of a cookie, but I, you know, it could be anything. I, it's, I love the mystery of it, uh, and I love uh, you knowing that I'm going to try eating all of this stuff and just uh, see what happens, right? Oh, wow, okay, so we have all these flavored Kit Kats that we don't get in the States, and I guess I am just going to have to guess what the flavors are by eating them, <clears throat> which, uh, you know, there's worse problems to have. But uh, I can tell you colors, though. We, what we have here are colors. We've got uh, this sort of forest green. We have uh, salmon pink. Could be salmon. Who knows? Salmon Kit Kat. Delicious. We got black. Uh, we have a minty green. Oh, this one says melon on it. So, all right. That one I know. Melon. It's got a picture of a melon. This one doesn't have a word I can read, but it's got a little, uh, looks like a beetroot or something to me. A taro, maybe? Root? Uh, some sort of a tuber. Uh, like YouTubers, right there on it. Uh, we got another pink salmon one. We have one that looks like a cheesecake to me. I think it is a cheese. Oh, it's What's that. Okay. <coughs> and another forest green. Uh, probably pine flavor. That's what I'm going to go with. I heard they're pretty crazy. And then finally, we have a little kitten uh, that says, Warning, choking hazard, small parts, not suitable for children under three years. Or uh, shiny butlers that will try to eat anything. And he's got a hole in the bottom that looks like it's meant to fit on the end of a pen or pencil, probably. So that's super cute. A little lucky kitty. Thank you so much for all of that. Uh, I feel like the postcard should go with that. But that's okay. We'll get that all sorted out. Here we have a little froggy uh, cat toy. It's just it's a piece of uh, cardboard that's wrapped around, corrugated cardboard wrapped around some... Uh, some ribbons. That looks like that would be a real fun cat toy, actually. So there's two of them. One is a frog, one is a pig. There we go. We have a little tiny notepad with kitties on each page. Take little tiny notes in. Uh, that's also completely adorable. Here we have some, oh, okay, good job. We have some soup moments to enjoy. A little tiny extra moist. Uh, these are like uh, kitty treat soup, uh, soupy things. We've got um, like the stew, the, is it stew, the bisque ones that we get here sometimes? I imagine they're kind of similar to that. Uh, moments to enjoy. Chicken with chicken with chicken. All right, those look like something the kitten would really like. We have a couple cans of food here that I'm just now getting to in the same varieties. We have a uh, chicken with asparagus. Mm. Uh, very fancy. Chicken with asparagus and chicken with duck and sweet potatoes. All right. Wow. Now that sounds like something I could eat. We have three little tiny uh, plastic eggs of, of various uh, sorts. Oh, my goodness. These are so cute. You know what? I actually bought a collection of the, the sorts of things that you might get in these uh, for myself. Because there was an artist that was, I guess, a famous artist, and now I don't remember his name, that had made a set of little kitties. Um, and uh, I got them all in our special cabinet. They're each a little kitten on a pillow. And this looks like the same kind of thing. It's, uh, it's a little, sort of like what you get from a vending machine. You have to collect them all. Uh, so this one is, yes, just like that. It's a little set of cat slippers. And it looks like they're cat slippers for cats. Uh, like you would put these little tiny slippers on your cat and then take their picture. Uh, maybe, as is kind of suggested here by uh, the picture of the kitty with the little slippers on. And also uh, touching a cell phone for some reason. Well, maybe it is for touching a cell phone. Maybe it is uh, taking a selfie. Maybe lots of things. So much mystery when you're dealing with uh, such a different culture and uh, no translations. And that is... I think part of the fun. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it too and don't just find me terribly insulting. <laughs> um, this one is even more adorable than anything. It is a little, it's a, again a set. It's one of those things you've got to collect them all. Uh, it looks like there's four little kitties in this tiny set, but we get one. 
And it is the cutest one. It's a little gray kitty in a box. And he's got this sad little look on his face, too. It reminds me uh, so much of little cistern with the ears down. And it's a gray tabby like cistern is. And it's sitting in a little tiny box. Just like a tiny little sister. And, oh, DJ's going to think that is so cute. And then uh, there's one more egg here. That's, I'm going to put those in with the, the treats. There's one more egg here that is bigger. And the bigger egg has what? What is this? I can't tell. Oh, how do we even open the big egg? There we go. Well, I see cat legs. And I see a cat head separately. Okay. And the cat's wearing a scarf. Wow. It's like an entire. Oh, that's. Uh, Namco uh, Bandai, uh, and that's uh, that's what it is. These are some sort of cat character. Hi, are you very interested in that? Does it smell good? Do you like that smell? Uh, these are some sort of standing up cat characters, uh, and they look like they're each doing, oh, they each come with some kind of a sign. This is one that's sitting on a mountain and wearing a scarf, and I have no idea what he's saying, but the sign he's sitting next to is a little caption of something he's saying. And uh, when we put it together, I will get a picture of that, and one of you can maybe tell me what it says. Oh, there's all the little parts. You can see there's the mountain, the top half of the cat, the bottom half of the cat, and this is the base and the sign, so you can put it all together. So that's super cute, too. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, like I said, uh, I, I encountered this. I can't remember, the, but it is basically like uh, like little tiny collectibles, and they all come in sets of, you know, several like this. and. Uh, there's a whole different set of little cats sitting with signs in this set. And the other one has a set of little cats in boxes. And there's all the different, uh, I don't want to break this by trying to close this egg uh, incorrectly. I guess I'll have to be super careful here. Uh, anyway, it's just really cool. All right, I think that fit in there. Oh, perfect. I'm going to put that back in this box as well. A couple more things still in the box. We're not even quite done yet. We have a Dreamies Mega Pack. That is perfect for Ari. I know I know that's for him. We have Ari, <laughs> an Ari scratcher. I mean, it looks like Ari to me, doesn't it? Uh, it's a door-hanging cat scratcher, or hanging anywhere, I guess, but it's got a little handle on the top to hang it from something. And then he's got a big old scratch pad belly, and he looks like a happy little Ari. I guess this is so uh, the other cats can just come by and pet him all the time and get all the pets that he wants. Uh, that's super cute. And these are on there with like little buttons so they can move around his legs and his tail. That is adorable. And then one last thing in the box. Uh, it does say Kratz Pap. I don't know. That's what I'm reading. Uh, but it is a cat scratcher. And this one has uh, a stencil of some little kittens that love each other. I think those are kittens that love each other. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. A mom cat and a kitten, maybe. Super adorable. What do you think? What do you think, May? Uh, Bam Boozle. That's Bam. Okay, I know my kids. Well, thank you so much. Wow, that is just, uh, that is amazing. Um, uh, what an amazing set of stuff. That, that, was, uh, that was also kind of a um, sweet cherry flavor. Thank you. That's the name I was looking for, sweet cherry flavor. Thank you so much. Wow. Uh, and an interesting mix, too, of stuff that is, you know, very clearly uh, sort of German and stuff that is, uh, I'd say, very clearly Japanese. So uh, that's that's a fun variety, and I will be interested to hear on Discord um, uh, why that particular combination. So uh, that's awesome. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I don't, I don't know how I'm organizing this. Oh, there is one more box, of course. And the reason I, I didn't really count it when I said one more box is uh, this one. I think we already all know what's in this. If anybody's Googled that, but it also says on one side if you've been looking. Oh, I thought it did. Somehow, oh, it does say, but it's in the fine print, so maybe you haven't been able to see it. Uh, this says, uh, well, it says kid accessories. Interesting. But it also says right here in the biggest letters, pineapple floor basket. All right. Well, I don't know what that means exactly, but I get the idea, I think. And there's nothing on the outside here to suggest who it is from either. Is there? No, there's not. Hmm. So let's find out. I doubt there's going to be a note, but oh, maybe this pack shipping label will have a note somewhere on it. We can take a look at that real quick. Uh, hold the rest as a surprise. Oh, there is a little card here. Huh, how about that? Crate and Barrel, they put a little card in with the shipping stuff. That's very cute. 
safe to read even. Wow, uh, someone who really knows what's up. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I thought you would enjoy this nice basket to store your kitty goodies in. Enjoy wishing you a wonderful 2023 and all the exciting adventures that are ahead for you from Anna Y. That's A-N-A-Y. Well, Anna Y, I'm going to keep your card with the basket for now. And uh, when, when I was, pineapple floor basket. All right, let's see what that means. When I was laying out this room, and I know we got interrupted by Christmas, but as I put up the, the new climbing wall and was kind of thinking about how we were going to put this stuff, I decided to get out a couple of the wicker, wicker, is, it's not all actually wicker, but you know what I mean, um, like the hanging basket and that little wicker cat bed, and I thought we would kind of go with that. So I wonder, uh, maybe we could kind of just go for like a basket and theme, and this might work out really well in here, even though as a pineapple, it probably belongs upstairs. Let's find out what we got. Okay, well, it's covered by paper, so we don't get to find out immediately. Oh. I see there's a separate lid. Oh, it is wicker. Oh my, this is so cool. It's kind of a, it's not just wicker though. I don't know if the camera picks this up, but it's got like a golden uh, shine to it. And it is golden and shiny. And it's not, it's not wicker. It's uh, it's like reeds. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, maybe reed. Maybe it's a reed basket. That's what I would say. Okay, we'll just say reeds. Um, so I can see how this is going to work. Yes, it is a very golden pineapple. And it's also got a cloth uh, lining that's Velcroed in so that you can put stuff in it and it won't just fall through the reeds. Uh, like, say, baby Moses. And on top, there is a uh, there is a, a topper that looks like the top of a pineapple. It's a, really, it's a very pineapple basket. And the, the top is super cute. It's got the little pineapple leaves on top. I can see the kittens want to get into it, which could be super cute. Are you going to get right in there? Go for it, buddy. I'm not going to stop you here. I'll hold it steady. Hop in. <laughs> there you go. That didn't take long at all. Wow. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see that, though. So <clears throat> this is so cute. I will let DJ decide, ultimately, I think, where it goes. But it would be perfect upstairs or anywhere in the house, really. It's lovely. And uh, like I said, it's not just uh, plain reeds either. It's got this lovely golden color to it uh, that is actually shiny gold. Just a little bit shiny, though. Not like super shiny. All right. Now we got two cats and we got a lid on. What are they going to do about that, I wonder? Um, I was looking for my phone. There we go. So I could take a picture of them inside there for everybody. And let's just do this. We'll open it up and take a picture so we can see them probably peeking out. Who's in there? Oh, they're actually just settled in. They're not trying to get out at all. They're going to settle down and take a nap in there. <laughs> Kittens, why? All right, well, I guess we're going to leave it here for them for now. Hi, you know why we put the lid back on so you're not disturbed? It's uh, it's Mayhem and Flim Flam in there together. Oh, that's too cute, you two. All right. Here, maybe if we just put this... Yes. Okay, they're super. They're settled in. They don't. They don't care at all. They're like, all right, there's a cat bat bed now. Well, uh, thank you so much. That is just awesome, Anna. Why? Uh, that that's beautiful, and I'm sure DJ is going to think it is just the best. And when it's not storing a couple of kittens, it it would be perfect for putting a bunch of cat toys and stuff in as we're picking up the room to vacuum and stuff like we do. Um, Thank you. I also I noticed the lid has these little legs on it too, so that it uh, doesn't just slide off. You know, that kind of catches the lip a little bit. Hi. Oh, hi, buddy. Can I take a picture of you sticking your head out though? Because that would be too cute. No, maybe, maybe not. Uh, why am I holding this knife? That's in the picture. I don't look good. Okay. Well, you're not really sticking. It. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, just like that. Now that's about as good as it's going to get on the spur of the moment. I'll share those pictures on Discord, of course. And uh, that's it. That's the mailbag. We made it through right on time. Three minutes to spare. Let me get this stuff cleaned up, and then I'm going to be running around just like crazy trying to get everything ready for a little mayhem and bamboo to go. I don't want to think about it. Um, that's 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 my strategy for dealing with these adoptions. Is just don't think about it. Keep yourself busy. So uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh they're both they're both wonderful each of them in their own way okay, there's no kittens in here so we're gonna put this all back uh, they're each wonderful little kittens uh, all all 
these kittens and their mom are just, they've been so, I've gotten so close to them, I guess, uh, as always. You know, we always end up feeling very close to these kittens. Um, it's just, it's going to be a rough one. Okay. This, I'm going to bring upstairs with DJ to take a look at and make a decision on. And uh, maybe I can bring up some other stuff at the same time. Grab a box of stuff that's for us. Real quick. This and this. Oh, and that's got to go upstairs. There we go. Cards go downstairs, though. There we go. Upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, down. Oh, this has to go with the basket. That's why we set that aside. There we go. Let's see. A box of treats, perhaps? Where are we going to have a box that we can use? <clears throat> this is going downstairs, which is so that so that I can put together for a moment. This is for me to check on down at the right meow, which means put it in here. Good. Look at you perfectly centered on that little cushion. Right. Food and treats. More food and treats from upstairs. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> More food and treats. There we go. Right there. Cute little Ari door scratcher. I think I'm gonna bring that upstairs and at the very least I'll hang it on one of the doors in my office if PJ doesn't have something she likes it for. Also this uh, this cat scratcher could go upstairs somewhere. I know uh, one of the things that I like to do that I guess we haven't had is uh, I put the cat scratchers just outside of the doors upstairs, uh, outside like the bedroom door or my office door. And kids tend to use them and sit on them there. Uh, quite a bit. It's a good spot for a cat bed or a scratcher. Uh, I think it's been a while since we have one there. Also, these are just cute little toys. I think I'll put one here. Maybe uh, maybe one upstairs for the kittens. This is a good starter kitten toy, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to take them both up there for the kittens. Oh, and DJ's little glass cat. That's got to go up there, too. Okay. All right, all this to go upstairs, all this to go downstairs, all this to go in my belly. All right, I think we got things basically organized. <clears throat> now I got to get myself, put this stuff away. This is going to go downstairs, too. Uh, where can I put it? Right there. And this. Now that can all the way over there. Label that kind of out of here. Oh, this has got to go too. Okay, this has got to go upstairs right now. That's one goes for sure. Let's help you go downstairs right now. Good. Okay. Kahootie really wants to go out and run around the house, and when I do let her out, she really just wants them to, like, I don't, a lot of times she tries to lead me to the master bedroom, and I think, okay, she just loves the master bedroom, because that's where we get to hang out, and she just gets to relax, and she loves it. Uh, but then other times, we'll get to the master bedroom, and then she just wants out, where she's like, oh, let me go run around the house. No. Well, there was a uh, clip in that box, and I'm going to guess it was holding those uh, those cards and stickers to the bag of Kit Kats, perhaps, or maybe just holding close to the bag of Kit Kat Kats. Anyway. Oh, look at you. You're playing with that brand new little mouse. Look at that. You like that? 
I think I interrupted something I was saying, but now I've forgotten it, so it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, uh, I was just talking about Kahuti wanting to go around the house, and, and uh, um, when she gets into the master bedroom, a lot of times then she'll be like, man, I'd like to go out and see some other stuff. But I also think she just wants to go out and explore, and uh, it's going to be so fun for her when she gets her new home where she used to be the only cat and probably just rule the roost. I think she'll really enjoy that. Okay, let's take some more of this stuff out of here.
All right, I just took a minute to show some of those things from DJ. She's very entertaining. She wanted a Kit Kat right now. Um, so she had to pick one, and she picked uh, the pink one, the salmon one, and it turns out it's strawberry, and which is exactly what she was hoping for. Uh, so that worked out. I had a very tiny bit. It's very strawberry. I mean, you open it up, you can immediately tell it's strawberry just from the smell. There's a lot of strawberry going on there. Bring her this pineapple basket right in the aisle, too. Tell me why. Forgot to upload those basket pictures to Discord, but here they come right now. I hear you, kiddo. I hear you. I don't know exactly what you're asking for because you have everything you could possibly want, but I hear you.
Okay, that's it. I'm going to grab my Diet Coke and uh, call that a mailbag so I can get all the stuff ready for this adoption. So thank you again so much to everybody. Perfect timing today. And, and where's the button?